Hello everyone and welcome to the prairie. We are back. This is Matt from Indefensive Plants and today we are going in search of yet another orchid. This isn't just any old orchid though. This is one of the most stunning orchids you're gonna find in Eastern North America, the orange fringed orchid. There's rumored to be quite a bit here. I can't tell you where we are, but I know we're gonna see some cool stuff along the way. So join us. Meet one of the weirdest monardas. This is spotted bee balm, monarda punctata, and it's one of the most outlandish of the group. You would almost not guess that it would belong in that genus at all. It sweetens its already beautiful floral display with these colorful leafy bracts, which makes a lot of sense. It grows in sandy, nutrient impoverished soils, and it wants to save as much energy as it can. Leaves are way cheaper to produce than flowers. It is beautiful, pollinators absolutely love it, and it tells me we're on the right path to find the plants we want to see today. Cool find. So there's a lot of different milkweed out there and all of them are great, but this is one of my favorites because it's one of the most dainty and it's right here. This is the world milkweed and it's everything you'd want in a milkweed, but kind of in miniature. It's got these narrow leaves, very thin lanky stalk and the tiniest milkweed flowers. Now, Still has a wonderful fragrance. It attracts plenty of pollinators, especially smaller bees, and pretty much functions the exact same way as most milkweeds do, except that it really loves dry, sandy soils. You'll find it very prolifically in spots, especially just right alongside the highway. It's a wonderful pollinator plant and another great milkweed to put in a native plant garden, especially if you want to attract some monarchs to your garden. Now here is what I consider one of the most underrated native trees in North America. It's the winged sumac and you can tell that because it's the only sumac with conspicuous wings on the petioles. It's a wonderful tree. It's great for pollinators, especially if you have female and male plants together, and they produce these bright red berries that come winter when there's not a lot of food around on the landscape are excellent starvation food for birds, especially in the months of February and early March when they're migrating back from a long winter in tropical America. Now the other benefit of this tree is the fact that it produces beautiful fall foliage. These leaves turn a bright scarlet color that is impossible to miss. And since they tend to grow in these thickets, because let's admit it's a little weedy, it's stunning. It's a great tree to consider on a native landscape, especially if you have an area that you don't mind it taking over. Just another great member of the sumac family. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is one of the most remarkable scenes I've ever seen. Uh, here we have the orange fringed orchid in quite an abundance, in full bloom. This is jaw-droppingly amazing right now, and uh, this is one of my favorite orchid species because, well, do I need to justify? Look at these flowers. Bright orange. Check out these fringed lips. This is such a beautiful species, and it's threatened in the state of Illinois, so seeing it in this number is awesome. Now this is a butterfly pollinated species. It offers up its nectar in these deep tubes that requires the butterfly to stick its face all the way down in to access it and as soon as the butterfly's eye comes into contact with the pollinia they get stuck literally to its eyes so that the next time it goes and feeds it has to do the same thing and hopefully pollen gets transferred. This is such an awesome species and I'm so happy to see it doing so well here. It's worth braving all of the mosquito-borne illnesses we're probably going to end up with, uh, especially the cameraman here, to uh, come and see this. So, thank you for joining us. This is just fantastic. Yeah. 